after a long hard battle to get mixed martial arts legalized in New York. On Tuesday, the assembly in the capital city of Albany voted to legalize the sport. UFC CEO Lorenzo Fatita said he would like to hold two events before the end of the year, most likely in November or December. When he was asked about if the UFC would consider Ronda Rousey at Madison Square Garden as she is expected to return by the end of the year, he mentioned that he would definitely consider it. He said when the UFC makes his debut in New York, they want to have a big event and any time Ronda Rousey fights is a big event. Will we see Misha Tate defend her UFC Bantamweight Championship against former champion Ronda Rousey in New York? Only time will tell. George St. Pierre's coach Firaz Zahabi said he believes that George St. Pierre cannot stay away from the sport and eventually will make a comeback. When he was asked if GSP would make a return in 2016, he said he would like to say yes, but it's not a guarantee, as he is in good shape and trains regularly. He said he just needs a fight that would excite him to really pull him back into the UFC for at least one more fight. EA Sports has apologized to Khabib Nurmagomedov as they made him do a sign of a cross in the video game after he wins a fight. Khabib, who is a devout Muslim, reached out to EA Sports and asked them if they would kindly remove the post-fight celebration in the game. EA Sports responded to him and said, Hello Khabib, just wanted to reach out and let you know that we've seen your concern in regards to your after-fight celebration. We've informed our development team about this issue and will change the celebration in our next update. Apologies if this has offended you in any way. The Invicta featherweight champion Chris Cyborg has been in talks with the UFC to make her octagon debut at UFC 198 in her hometown of Curitiba, Brazil. She recently on Facebook called out Ronda Rousey for a fight at UFC 198. She said, I just got up from my afternoon nap, time to go to train. Are you busy Ronda Rousey? I won't make you come to the champion. We can meet in the middle, 140 pounds. The UFC middleweight champion Luke Rockhold said that he isn't sure that if Michael Bisping is ready for a title shot and said it would be fun to shut him up again. Former UFC bantamweight champion TJ Dillashaw said that Uriah Faber doesn't call other team alpha male fighters traitors when they train elsewhere. Former UFC heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos said that he needs to beat Ben Rothwell at UFC Fight Night 86 to get back where he was before. He said he will try his best to avoid Rothwell's go-go choke. Husima Polharis will fight at Veneto FC3 in Italy against Emil Meek, but he has been suspended by the Nevada Athletic Commission for two years for holding onto a submission for too long and was stripped of the welterweight title by the promotion. World Series of Fighting President Ray Sefo said if he fights in another promotion, he will be violating his contract. The Nevada Athletic Commission temporarily suspended UFC featherweight Diego Brandao after failing a drug test for marijuana metabolites at UFC 195. And Manny Pacquiao is the latest to support hashtag cyborg to UFC Brazil movement. Thank you for watching this MMA quick update. Stay tuned for more videos from MMA Release. Thank you.